Alright guys, welcome back to the Paddy G YouTube channel. Today I've got another tutorial video for you. Now, this one has been very much requested and myself, I couldn't figure this out either. There is a big problem with this game and that is when we go to download 2020 rosters, we do the leagues, we put them in a career mode, there is a massive error and that is during the second season at recruitment the game always seems to crash. Now I'm going to go over why that is and how to fix it because I figured it out and I can play all 10 years starting with 2020 rosters, custom player ratings, updated player models and it works fine. Now before we officially start I need you guys to make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you guys don't miss any of my uploads and yeah basically what we're going to do is make sure that each player is only assigned to the one team so when we go to fan hub you guys are gonna have to begin like this it's very upsetting now for some of you this may need may need you guys to make a different account and do whatever basically unfortunately unless you guys have already figured it out then let me know in the comments but the only way I know how to is you guys have to delete every custom player you have and delete every custom team you have also for this you guys are not going to be able to use the updated kits it's unfortunate that doesn't bother me because on a console we can't use jersey mods the original ones will look a lot better than some of the custom ones and people have done a great job but of course the original game jersey models are going to look so much better so those are the problems with this and basically the problem with career mode is the duplicate players for example we're going to download Payne Haas we're going to edit Australia, we're going to edit New South Wales, edit the Broncos what unfortunately that means is that we're going to have three versions of Payne Haas on three different teams and when you have that across so many players it causes the game to crash now basically all you guys are going to have to do is delete every club every player so we have the 2017 original teams or if you guys have the 2018 update like I do it's just going to be the original teams across every single competition now there's only a few things it's very quick well I shouldn't say it's very quick it's very simple but it is quite time consuming so we're going to want to go to community search community go to clubs now this guy's name is the odd one out he's a very good youtuber who does rugby league all sort of content I'll leave his channel Somewhere you guys probably see in the top corner. He's an amazing youtuber. I highly recommend checking him out now go to date and give max results 40 now once you have downloaded the clubs it'll come up And there'll be one version of each NRL team and one version of each Super League team So let's just go to the Titans Here's what we're gonna go download the Titans with logos press triangle for yes and basically what this is gonna do is if we back out we're going to go to clubs there are no custom teams that is because that titans we just downloaded will just override the overwrite the original titans now excuse me you guys are going to want to go and do this for every single nrl team and every single super league team and i'll show you guys what it's going to look like when you've done all that so once you guys have downloaded every nrl team and every super league team and it's override the original Fiddle with your custom ratings, do whatever you want. Now here's the bare minimum that you're going to want to do. You want to go to Holden Cup and you want to delete every NRL player on each team. So basically the lowest rated NRL players are 68. Just, just delete everyone above a 68. Do that for Holden Cup. For Queensland Cup, New South Wales Cup, it's a little bit trickier. But you guys will know who the better players are. Just delete every NRL player so they're only on the one team. Now unfortunately... Don't mess with the, any representative teams. I know it sucks, but do not touch the representative teams at all. Do that after you've started the career mode, because otherwise it will stuff it up. Now, also, there is also a problem with the Super League, and that is obviously clubs have been promoted and relegated in the English competition, and you have to rearrange that. So just copy what I've done for each one. So Super League, make sure you have all these in the correct order. It doesn't mess with the home grounds as much, but of course there's still going to be some problems. Do that for each one, the Championship League one, and of course the Super League. Now that is the bare minimum you guys are going to have to do. Download every NRL club, download every Super League club. Make sure there are no NRL players in Holden Cup, New South Wales Cup, and Queensland Cup, and do the leagues. Now, if you want to go that extra step like I have, I've actually gone and downloaded every championship team and every League One team, just so I have it more 
closely resembling what is actually going on right now in rugby league. So basically that is it. Fiddle with your custom ratings, do whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. Just make sure you have one play on each team. Make sure you have the NRL. Make sure the Super League, the Kingston Press Championship and League One are all the same. And then you guys are going to want to go into career mode. So scan for scale files. It'll take forever. Go begin your career. 10 minutes, whatever you guys want. And then here you go. Change it to Super League, whatever your custom league name is. And then accept. So that guys, that's basically it. This is going to make sure you can play all 10 years of career mode without any problems. So just an overview. Download every team from the odd one out. Make sure it overrides. Delete all NRL and Super League players from Holden Cup, New South Wales Cup, Queensland Cup. If you want to go the extra step, download the championship, press League One teams, and create the custom leagues for the English competitions. And yeah, you guys will be able to play a 10-year career mode. Please check out the Odd One X. He's the reason we have these fantastic rosters with very good updated player models. And guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you are subs so we can reach 500 by the end of the year. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.